As the final events of Bible prophecies are rapidly being fulfilled, the call coming from God to His people as such a crisis as this is to come up higher. Come up higher as God called Moses to Mount Sinai. Come up higher as Elijah called the people of God to come up on Mount Carmel. Come up higher because our redemption draweth nigh. Come up higher because we have a high calling in Jesus Christ. Come and let us learn how to run this race together as we listen to this daily devotional. Our High Calling, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. The one vast gift of God. Thanks be unto God for His unspeakable gift. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 15. Those who receive Christ by faith will be looked upon by heaven as precious pearls for which the merchant man has paid an infinite price and the human agents who find Christ will realize that they have found a heavenly treasure. They will be anxious to sell all that they have in order to buy the field which contains this treasure. As they contemplate the love of God as the plan of salvation opens to their view, as the mystery of Christ's condescension becomes plainer to them, as they see the sacrifice that He made for them, they count nothing too dear to give up for His sake. The more they dwell upon the wonderful love of God, the vaster becomes its proportion, and the brightness of the glory of God becomes too glorious for mortal vision. The Lord God of heaven collected all the riches of the universe and laid them down in order to purchase the pearl of lost humanity. The Father gave all His divine resources into the hands of Christ in order that the richest blessings of heaven might be poured out upon a fallen race. God could not express greater love than He has expressed in giving the Son of His bosom to this world. His gift was given to men to convince Him that God had left nothing undone that He could do, that there is nothing held in reserve, but that all heaven has been poured out in one vast gift. The present and eternal happiness of men consists in receiving God's love and in keeping God's commandments. Christ is our Redeemer. He is the Word that became flesh and dwelt among us. He is the fountain in which we may be washed and cleansed from all impurity. He is the costly sacrifice that has been given for the reconciliation of men. The universe of heaven, the world's unfallen, the fallen world, and the confederacy of evil cannot say that God could do more for the salvation of men than He has done. Never can His gift be surpassed, never can He display a richer depth of love. Calvary represents this crowning work. The Lord would have His followers enraptured with God's through the knowledge of His paternal character. I have set my 